Next up on News Bites, one of our regular features where we take a fresh look at people who were once in the headlines. The question today is Herman Wonk. Where is he now? <laughs> I know where he is. Ow! Watch it there. Herman Wonk is here, inside the new Melvindale Federal Prison, still under construction. Our Gerald Prattle recently spoke with Wonk. Gerald? Mr. Wonk, what is it like for you living behind bars? I'll let you know when I get some. Hey, we're working on it. This is what you get when you go with the lowest bidder. Herman Wonk used his scientific genius to create teeny weeny eensy beensy robots that were capable of building more teeny weeny eensy beensy robots. They merged with Wonk's body to create the Herminator, a robot human combination that out roboed Robocop. Then, predictably, the unexpected happened. Wonk's nanochips mutated, developing their own intelligence. They became a bomb, which even the Herminator couldn't defuse. Seeing the error in his ways, the Herminator used the last of his power to divert the zoom train that contained the bomb to a watery grave. Today, at that same lake, real adventure gives way to make-believe. I'm here live with hot young director Timmy Smirk as he prepares to shoot next summer's blockbuster monster movie, Nessie. Hey, aren't they gonna talk more about me? Oh, too bad, Wonk. Guess you used up your 15 minutes of fame, eh? <laughs> Timmy, tell us about Nessie. Oh, it's gonna be great. It'll be like the Nessie video game, but only with lots of my stuff blowing up. Pow, boom, bang, you know? Ow, oh. Whoops. Gentlemen, the Nessie monster has somehow come to life. Oh, the horror. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the ratings. <laughs> this is just terrible. Is this nature's way of saying enough already with the mindless summer movies? Or is it something far more? Hey, where are you going? Oh, boy. Back to you, Fawn. I have seen enough. Okay, listen up. I demand to see the warden immediately. Only I can stop that rampaging monster. Would it help if I said please? Shopping center is in danger. We'll never get there in time. Meet me on the far side and bring a towel. Aqua Jets. Miner, my readings indicate that the Sea Beast has been taken over by nanochips. I guess Herman Wong's nanotechnology wasn't completely destroyed after all. Great. Here 
it's time to fish or cut bait. Missile launcher. No running on the pier. He wasn't in submersible mode when the police divers found him. His purge mechanism was... You did it! How long was I offline? Uh, about an hour. Where is the beast now? It was last seen headed east on Interstate 94. Straight for New Detroit, unless I stop it first. Whoa, partner! You can't tackle that thing alone! He won't be alone! Herman Wonk? Your nanochips are the cause of all this, aren't they? Yes, exactly. Which is why you need me to stop them. Look, I can use this chip to recreate my Herminator suit. Where did you get that? I thought all those chips were destroyed. Hey, I only kept one. Kind of like a memento. Hey, can I see it? Well, all right. But I want it back. Cool. Come on, Robo Rooney, what do you say? It'll be just like old times, you and me, shoulder to shoulder, fighting for truth and justice. Interesting suggestion. You can't be serious. Wonk's nanotechnology is unstable. For that matter, so is Wonk. Hang on, Miner. Maybe Wonk is the advantage Robocop needs to beat that thing. Uh-uh, no. Wonk shouldn't even be here. He's supposed to be in prison. The warden granted him a temporary furlough. This is an emergency. Oh, and you think that adding a goofball in a cyber suit is going to make things better? Well, after all, he knows more about those nanochips than anybody. Maybe his cyber suit is a more effective way to fight that thing. I don't care. He's a menace, and I don't want him anywhere near me or my partner. Uh, I think it's a bit late for that. This is great, isn't it, Robes? Oh, Remember, Wonk, you're here as an advisor only. You are to take no direct action. Got it. Whatever you say, pal. So when do we get started? Any second now. Whoa there, mister! You can't park your car on the freeway! Let him go. We have bigger fish to fry. Surrender or there will be trouble. Call that resisting arrest. Will this stop those chips? Absolutely. The intense heat will fuse those silicon chips into a useless, lifeless lump. <clears throat> Unless, of course, they get a chance to mutate first. Do you think that you can stop us? Flesh is obsolete! We will destroy you all! Do all your nanochips speak in the royal we? I didn't know they could speak.
Maybe it won't come back. Optimist. Be right back. Obey the law. Welcome back, citizens. Woodward and Michigan Avenue. And hurry, I'm crunched for time. You're crunched, all right. <laughs> and another thing about this new model, the air conditioning is totally automatic. Officer requests backup. Lots of backup. I'll do what I can, Murphy, but this crazy car stuff's happening all over town. You have to let me become the Herminator. Two Robocops are better than one. Listen, Wonk. I know Robocop. I've worked with Robocop, and you are no Robocop! Miner's right, Wonk. We can't take the chance of your nano suit evolving into another nano monster. Actually, I've solved that problem. I've programmed the virus into Wonk's chip. It'll automatically shut down the nano chips in two hours. It's too risky. Forget it. Um, let's hear him out, Agent Miner. Are you saying the suit will short circuit before those chips get a chance to mutate and start thinking on their own? You got it. Brilliant, Professor Neumeyer. Of course, I was going to suggest that next myself. <clears throat> I'm thinking, okay? Moving too fast. Robster, you call for backup? There are too many cars, even for two of us. We have to stop them at the source. Not to worry. With this tracer, I can pinpoint all nanochip activity within a hundred mile radius. Missile launcher. Or we could just go to the factory where all these cars were built. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> that works too. <gasps> Down, Wonk. Herman! 
this. Peace. Robo pal, what are you? Ah! You traitor! And after all, I've done for you. Say it, this feels good. Don't give it any ideas. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Chess panel. What was that? An alarm clock. And that bell means time's up, Nano Creep. Feels strange. Aw, oh, looks like he caught a little bug. Of course! The virus I programmed into Wong's nanochip. Still mad at me? Uh, that's okay. Well... G guess we got him that time, didn't we? <laughs> what do you mean, we? This one was all yours, Herman. Oh, yeah. And don't you forget it. Hello. Don't move, citizen. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show.
Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister Dot are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs. Next.